Drill Stem Testing This module introduces the fundamentals of drill stem testing, commonly known as DST. It begins by explaining what DST is and the core concepts behind this vital formation evaluation technique. Participants will explore the different types of DST, the function and design of key components such as DST packers and tester valves, and how these elements come together in a typical DST tool string. By the end of this module, learners will understand how DST operations are carried out, the tools involved, and the role of DST in gathering valuable downhole data during drilling operations. What is DST? DST, drill stem testing, is a temporary completions with different combinations of downhole tools run on drill pipe or tubing. DST is designed to determine the productivity and fluid properties prior to completion of the well. It is used equally to control the well during dynamic test operations. DST concept. The primary DST functions, whether conducted in open hole or cased hole wells, are 1. Control well flow. 2. Isolate the target zone. 3. Convey fluid to surface. 4. Acquire downhole data. The three basic equipment of a DST consist of a string, a packer, and a valve. The string, generally made of tubing and drill pipes, channels the flow to surface. The packer is a rubber element to isolate the zone to be tested. The valve provides a method of controlling the well near the reservoir. The three basic pressure involved in a DST are the hydrostatic pressure pH, the formation pressure PF, and the cushion pressure PC. Generally, the relationship among these pressure is pH greater than PF and PF greater than PC. The packer isolates the formation from the annulus. The two pressures, pH and PF, must be isolated from one another. The tester valve controls the formation, shuts the well downhole to minimize well bore storage effect, isolates annular fluid from the cushion while running in hole to prevent U-tubing, and provides a seal for pressure testing the string. After the packer is set and sealed, the tester valve can then be opened and hydrocarbons can be produced to surface. This will occur only if cushion pressure, PC, is lower than the formation pressure, PF. During the initial phase of the test, the well bore fluids, and later, the mud or drilling fluid that has invaded the formation in the vicinity of the well bore, flow to surface. This is known as the cleanup period. The cleanup is complete when the well effluent at surface is reservoir fluid that contains no mud particles or cuttings. Once the cleanup is complete, the main flow period can be maintained for the planned duration during which downhole pressure measurements and surface flow rates are recorded. At the end of the main flow period, the tester valve is closed. Formation pressure builds up against the valve while downhole pressure measurement continues recording. The general steps for ending a DST are 1. Open the reverse circulating valve and reverse out to flush hydrocarbons from drill pipe or tubing. 2. Close the reverse circulating valve. 3. Open the tester valve. 4. Pump mud into test string to kill the tested interval. 5. Unseat the packer. 6. Pull the string out of the hole. Types of DST Well configurations Different DST types may be used depending on well configuration, either vertical well, horizontal well, multilateral well, or deviated directional well. The most common types of DST includes Open Hole DST it is a type of drill stem test performed in an uncased open hole well bore to evaluate formation productivity before casing is set. The packer is set in open hole. This method provides early reservoir data and helps determine whether a well should be completed or abandoned. Barefoot DST. It is a type of open hole DST performed in a well without casing or liner across the tested formation. The packer is set in casing while the well is flowing from open hole. It is typically conducted in exploratory wells or in wells where the formation is naturally competent and does not require casing support. Cased Hole DST It is a type of drill stem test conducted in a well where the formation has been cased and cemented before testing. Unlike barefoot DST, this method requires perforations to create a flow path between the formation and the wellbore. Straddle DST 
It is a type of drill stem test designed to isolate and evaluate a specific interval of a formation using straddle packers. These packers create a seal above and below the targeted zone, allowing for precise pressure measurements, fluid sampling, and permeability evaluation. It can be performed in open hole or cased hole. DST Packers Packers are designed to isolate the perforated interval from the mud column. The weight applied on the packer compresses its rubber elements against the casing and creates a seal between the annulus and tubing. Three main types of packers are available in the industry, including Flex Pack Packer, Positus Packer, and Positrieve Packer. DST Tester Valves Various types of tester valves are used. The most common are multi-flow evaluator, operated by manipulation of the test string. Pressure controlled tester, PCT, a ball valve operated by annulus and tubing pressures. And intelligent remote system, operated by pressure pulses in annulus. A typical DST TCP tool string is composed, from bottom to top, of perforating gun, safety spacer, firing head, tubing, debris sub, slotted tailpipe, packer, safety joint, hydraulic jar, pressure recorders, hydrostatic reference tool, downhole tester valve, surface readout, drill collars, radioactive marker sub, surface readout, drill collars, redundant circulating valve, drill collars, slip joints, and finally, tubing or drill pipes. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up today's presentation. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us keep creating more content like this. See you in the next video.